and I'm Commodore of um, Kaumaru Yacht Club and we're hosting the 50th Starling Nationals. So it's a sort of a milestone event for the class and actually our club, we hosted the very first one so 50 years ago. Yeah, pretty exciting times. Uh, the first Nationals of course was on by Barry Tom. He was a Kaui member uh, and Des Townsend, the designer of the boat, was the first Kaui member to win the uh, Tanner Cup in the P-Class. So there's a really nice synergy to have a regatta here, to have a regatta with over 100 boats and just to see the class as strong as it is, you know, 50 years, half a century after it first came out. And that's pretty rare in New Zealand boating to see a class, you know, almost stronger, you know, decades after it first came in. I was the first winner of the National Sailing Championships, 1972. There was this gap between a peak class and what came next. And the Starling actually was designed specifically by a group of parents really with Dears Townsend to fill that gap. The fact that the Starling's a domestic class, there's not this pressure of overseas travel teams and stuff. So it makes it a fun environment in that it's there's not that same pressure of doing well to make these travelling teams and instead it's just doing as well as you can but having fun while you do it. Thing. You know, just moving cleats around, your hiking straps, all that sort of stuff, just tweaking them, learning, you know, the importance of attention to detail, nice sharp chines, it was really important, and, and just the, you know, mucking around in your garage with your dad is, is just such a fun part of it. It's, it's the sort of thing that makes us Kiwis special, I think. It's been um, quite challenging um, conditions. So day one had pretty light breezes and the race committee got a race started in about probably five knots of wind and then that just sort of died out as the race progressed and it got abandoned. So there was no sailing on day one. Day two we had the opposite. We had really strong northeast breezes and really good sized waves. So yeah, some pretty epic sailing out there. There's four races as well. So there's a lot of tired um, sailors at the end of that day. <laughs> Lots of really great sailors, we've got a whole bunch of people who have jumped in the boat just for nationals. Good to see them out here and really pushing us to get some good racing. Uh, yesterday we had pretty fickle sort of southwest to westerly. Strength was varying you know, between 5 and 10 knots and direction sort of changing as well. Yesterday I had some uh, consistent races so yeah, managed to put together a, a reasonably good scorecard so far, but we still got to get through today, which will be probably shifty in the southwest conditions. So yeah. The first day was a bit ropey, but um, once we got into light weather, it did pretty well. Overall, I'm 15th. Um, I'd really like to get in the top 10. It's been looking really good for me today. It's light, so hopefully I can whack out some really good top 10s again. GBC and we ran the development fleet here at uh, the 50th National. We were thrilled to be able to have 12 sailors just really getting, getting the most out of the conditions and getting the most out of the boat. A really, really good time. Uh, 
uh, pretty awesome. I mean, yeah, like I said, I said earlier, it's my it's my first regatta yeah. in the in the boat, and I've only done about sort of three sessions beforehand. It's been a, a real close battle, especially I think there's there's four of us um, who have just been really really close all day. We're always at the front. Always go to win the nationals. You're never gonna be unhappy. So yeah, it's pretty cool.